So, Christian, with software upload, we recommend using a version dog agent so that the upload is performed on another PC and not the version dog server. And we recommend that that PC be a dedicated virtual machine. Yes, that's right. Um, with software upload, you get something like a remotely controlled TIA portal. That means TIA portal will be started mm -hmm. and executed through version dog software and through TIA openness. So version dog takes control via openness. Yes, it, it takes control over the desktop front end of TIA portal. Okay. And that includes a sequence of commands and one mouse click. Ah, and that mouse click is quite important, isn't it? Because that's where things can go wrong. Yes. Without the mouse click, your job execution will fail. And what can go wrong? There are several possibilities. One of them is someone moves the mouse in the wrong moment or the screen is just locked. Or, for example, the screensaver is switched on. Okay. Uh, so any time the screen is locked or the screensaver is on, this mouse click will not happen. Exactly. So you'd have to leave the PC unlocked? Yes, the screen has to be unlocked. Screensaver off. And to be really sure, mouse unplugged. Exactly. Which is not all that practical. So the question is, how could you resolve this issue? This is part of our recommendation. It is using a virtual machine which is dedicated to the TIA portal job execution. So you can set up that virtual machine so that the screen saver never comes on. Uh, you don't lock the screen and if you minimize it the focus is off that virtual machine and therefore mouse movements on the PC won't have any effect and then you could lock the screen of that PC on which the virtual machine is running. Yes. So probably the only reason um, preventing some people from using this solution is the fact that you have to buy a version dog agent. Yes, I think so.